Welcome back Giant fans. We're on box number 138. In this item, excuse me, in box number 138, we're going to have 130, excuse me, we're going to have 79 items total in box number 138. Here's our notes for the video. We're going to start off with this little sketch. This sketch looks to be about four and a half inches square. And that's the first item. The second item is this photograph. Looks like it's a professional photograph. You can see it's about looks like 11 inches wide and looks to be about 14 inches tall. And that's the second item. The third item here is from the Polo Grounds in 1931. It's actually a page. It's page number 16 from the official program. Highlighting Christian Red Cagle. Football the Polo Grounds. And the reason it's in the framed R is because of the back. On the back there's a illustration that could be hung up framed. So that's the third item. Here's the fourth. Again it's about the same size as those large pictures. Here's the fifth item here. It's another great professional photograph of Lawrence Taylor. That same large size. This is even larger yet. This is the material that was used to promote to produce the cover of a magazine. You can see the notes on the side. And here is the seventh item. It's additional notes on the side, and there's notes on the back of how this was used to produce a magazine cover. Again, th this one is about 14 inches long, and it's about uh, about 11 inches wide. So there we go. That's the first set of items. Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. That's the first seven. The next, now we're going to show you four items from 1959. You can see here. It's a Shell Oil Company, 1959, and that is on this poster. This one is Sam Huff shuts off the middle. Now this poster measures about 10 and a half, 11 inches wide and it measures about almost 14 inches tall. And that's the same for quite a few more. We're going to go through and I'm going to show you we have four from 1959, six, excuse me, seven from 1960, and 23 from 1981. With those first seven items there, that's going to equal about 41. So let's continue on. This is the stack here for 1959. There's the first of four. Here's the second of four. Now this one's very interesting because it's colored. Was that colored after it was obtained from Shell Oil in 59? Or was it produced like that? Limited edition? We don't know. But it's the only one out of this many, many we have in the collection that is colored. Here is the uh, third or fourth. Now this one you can see has some push pin marks. You can see it's Frank Gifford. The bottom also has Shell Oil 59. Now that's a nice specimen, but let's compare it to this one here. You can see the color. We have one here that's compared to that, it's in mint condition. Same one. So that's the third from 59 and the fourth from 1959. Okay, now we're going to move on to 1960. We have seven. 
you can see on the bottom here, these are labeled 1960. Here's the first one. Charles Connerly gets it away under fire. So there's four, excuse me, seven from 1960. Here's the first. Another one of those is, here's the second. Sorry about that. 1960. Here's Jim Patton. This great artwork. Jim Patton goes after the scat back. It's already good. These are all 1960. Three. Here's the fourth one. The Captain Robustelli blitzes the quarterback. And there's the fifth one here. And here's the sixth one. That's Summerall. I has three points from the 40. Yeah, that's a great one. You don't see him too often. And the seventh one from 1960. This one faces the uh, horizontal direction. And it says Alex Webster cuts back as Rosie Brown clears the way. Again, this is the Shell Oil Collection 1960. So those are the ones from 1960. There are seven of those. That's seven from 1960. Now we have 23 from 1981. Here's the stack of 23 from 1981. The bottom, you can see on each of these shows 1981, but I'm not going to go through and on the video, but there's a big stack, and we'll just go through the page, but I won't show you the bottom the date, but these are all from 1981 Shell. There's Phil Sims. There's one. G Gary Jetter. Here's number three from 1923. Excuse me, three, three, three of 23 from 81. Harry Carson, Dave Jennings, Lawrence Taylor, Phil Sims, Gary Jeter. Gary Jeter, Lawrence Taylor, Harry Carson, Harry Carson, Dave Jennings, Gary Jeter. Bill Sims, Harry Carson, Brad Van Pelt, Gary Jeter, Harry Carson, Lawrence Taylor, Phil Sims, Dave Jennings, Brad Van Pelt. Okay, so we've showed you seven miscellaneous, and then from the Shell Collection in 1959, we showed you four, seven, and 23, so 41 items so far. We're going to show you 29 on this first video to equal up to 70. 
Here's 29 items coming up. Here's a, a stack of them here on the table. To give you an idea of the stack, let's take this yardstick and just show of the tallest is about 25 inches. Just to give you a rough idea of the size. And the width here is about 23 inches. Just give a rough idea. We'll go ahead and leave that yardstick over there. So we're going to take a look at these 29 items in the wall art category. The first one is the reserved parking sign, giant fans only. The second one here is Super Bowl 35. It's metal. Well, not metal, but it's an interesting material there. You can take a look. Super Bowl 35. Okay, the second one. Now these were probably hanging in a sports store. It says champion on the bottom. You can see he's wearing his New York Giants shirt. And um, these are double-sided. So, here we go. Number three. There's number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Now these are from the post office. Um, this is the item number nine. You can see the date on there. See the original price was twenty dollars. Sure. Another one of those. This is a, looks like the whole set here. That's from Rutherford, New Jersey, in two thousand and three. Original price twenty dollars. Rutherford, New Jersey, two thousand three. Probably first day of issue stamps, perhaps. These are from the po post office. Yep, East Rutherford, September 5th, 2002. And that's where the stadium was, home of the New York Giants, featuring the stadium. And number 27. Original price 20 bucks. There's another one, September 15, 2002. Great photograph. Here's one, Super Bowl. What is that, 42? In Arizona. Yep, January 26 of 2008. This is an old poster you can see here, New York Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles, the JC Football Classic. We have a lot of the programs from this. See, look at that, Palmer Stadium in New Jersey. So it's from Ballantine Beer. Can we find the year on that? We know it's Saturday, August 29th. It's an old poster. It was advertising tickets. You can see you can write and get tickets for three fifty, five fifty, and seven fifty to watch the Giants play the Eagles in Princeton, New Jersey. Look at this old collectible. It's already pre-framed here, advertising Marlboro. And you can see that's Roosevelt Brown advertising for Marlboro cigarettes. Look at that, that's Frank Gifford. This is a movie poster. With Frank Gifford. And there's another one, Frank Gifford advertising cigarettes. Lucky Strike Cigarettes. Frank Gifford. Probably just, wouldn't be too proud of that today. Representing cigarettes. Marlboro cigarettes, framed, and it's Emlyn Tunnel.
1961 NFL champion. This is an interesting piece. This is an actual sign to uh, point to Giant Stadium, and it's it's framed in shrink wrap. So that's the uh, original sign that was pointing to the stadium that was probably removed you know, from a post. Here's another one. Here's 1967 JC football class between the Giants and the Eagles. So there's the poster from that. You can actually, someone wrote in where they can get their local tickets. Also in Princeton, New Jersey, Palmer Stadium, 1967. There's 1986 souvenir poster. This was like a sheet of uh, football cards. It's uncut. Excalibur, Edge 94 says. There's uh, probably why it's in the collection. Rodney Hampton. Here's a Phil Sims puzzle. It's framed, and you can see poster, puzzle, free poster included. And you can see in the back behind that puzzle is the poster. So it's framed as the puzzle and includes most of the original packaging. We've got a calendar here from 1997. Look at desk blotter calendar. And there's another calendar here from 1998. It was never used. Giant's calendar. Now this looks like um, a printing. Let's see. Boss cards. 1994. So this looks like the printing, like, let's see, there's five across and five down. Oh, also Edge 94, there it is. Collector's Edge 94. So this, you know, it's clear plastic. So this perhaps was used to make the, the cards. There's another one of small cards here. It's framed. It says 1990 tea set. Six uncut sheets. Couldn't tell you if all six are in there. We're going to count this as one. And they're small cards. You can see they're, they're not full-size cards. This is great. This is autographed by Dave Jennings, number 13. Sports card show. Okay, so this is advertising a sports card show. Dave Jennings is on it. He actually signed the poster. Okay, so those are the items we're gonna on the on the first video. So we've got um, the so far we have uh, 70 items filmed for box number 138.